Our Bill Miston also in Delafield with an interview you will only see here on Fox 6. He spoke with the man who actually called police this morning. Bill joins us live now outside the Holiday Inn where the shooting took place. And Bill, you've learned some new information about the suspect as well as how he was caught. That's right, Steph. As you heard Brett there say, the man, uh, Benton, was wanted on an attempted homicide charge out of, out of Fargo, North, Co North Dakota. Police clearing the scene outside the Holiday Inn about an hour or so ago, where they'd been since around 2 o'clock this morning. That suspect, 23-year-old Nathaniel Benton of Fargo, wanted on an attempted homicide charge stemming from an incident Sunday. Court filings say Benton allegedly shot a man in, Fargo, in a Fargo garage early Sunday morning. Probable cause affidavit says a man called 911 after he was shot in the head after making a comment to Benton at an apartment of another man. That third man said he heard the gunshot but then saw Benton run off but didn't see Benton with a gun. Court filings show the 23-year-old was convicted in a sex crime case three years ago. Now, how or why Benton was in Delafield is still unclear. Officials say after the shooting at the Holiday Inn, he took off south towards the interstate. Hours later, taken into custody while in a field about three quarters of a mile away, just north of Broken Bow Court. Officers could be seen searching that field, looking for the weapon used in the shooting. A man we spoke with says after hearing about the manhunt, he came to stay with his dad, who lives nearby. And while at his dad's house, he says he called police after finding Benton in the backyard, not far from where he was taken into custody. Straight away in there and found him and told him, I was like, get up. I put my gun on him. I said, get up, hands up. And he put his hands up immediately. I didn't know if he was armed, anything across the board, made him turn. And he said, walk into the field, go right now, because I knew the helicopters or something would see him. Now, that man, Scott, not wanting to show his face or give his last name, but you'll hear more from him coming up at 5 o'clock. In a statement released today, Benton's mother saying, in part, we are very overwhelmed by all of it. We're very sorry for any harm or pain he caused to anyone and are thankful no one else was hurt when they took him into custody. A series of events that hopefully will become clearer in the coming days. Reporting live in Delafield, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Certainly many more details to learn. Bill, thank you.